Okay, people, welcome to another exciting episode of Forever News! In today's episode, we got a few stories to talk about. Now, for starters, a trailer for the anime season 5 premiere of My Hero Academia, despite the fact that it's way off. Like, the season doesn't premiere until spring, but a trailer was released, and to be honest with you, I've seen a lot of backlash from My Hero Academia fans in terms of the trailer and the way it was structured and what it's presenting. The fact that it didn't have certain and elements that people were excited for because of the material from the manga that's coming so we're going to talk about that one we also have a story that i'm excited to talk about regarding naruto so viz media released a trailer for the upcoming blu-ray sets of the upcoming releases for the naruto anime again it was never the original anime itself was never released on blu-ray so this is going to be the first time and i'm very very excited to talk about that as well whether it's bad or good i'll let you know based on the trailer at the very least then in light of all the recent controversy regarding the Black Clover anime, uh, Funimation recently put out an announcement regarding uh, some good news for the Black Clover anime, hopefully at the very least. Again, there's so many things that I'm hearing. I'm hearing rumors here, announcements here, this, that, and the third, so we're gonna talk about it either way. <sighs> hopefully Black Clover's just safe because this sounds good. Everything I'm hearing on one side sounds really good, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. Some small but good news for Chainsaw Man. Also, we got some updated sales for some of the recent volumes releases and burn the witch the bleach spinoff seems to be doing very very well alongside some of the other manga releases so we're gonna jump into that and also we got some oricon charts for the manga sales of not quite the full year yet that'll be next month where we'll get uh the full year from november to november of sales of what's the top manga but based on this list it's very 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 telling that not only the number one winner is clear by a landslide but also the juggernaut that's been around for a long time just dominating the charts isn't quite dominating in this one at all so we're gonna get into that one as well and uh yeah without further ado people let's jump into another exciting episode of forever news the only news source that provides anything and everything anime and manga related and we don't bore you we get into the shits let's do it people I say we Okay, people, so for starters, a trailer was recently released for the upcoming season of My Hero Academia. And to be honest with you, a lot of the feedback I've seen is calling it mid, saying why are they releasing it this way? Why are they not marketing stuff? Because basically to not give spoilers, just basically give you an idea of, of what's to come. The trailer should have more so focused in on villains. Like villains are, are going to play a very pivotal part of the upcoming season of my hero academia so my idea was they, they could have really focused in on showcasing the villains making it seem like instead of it being my hero academia make a parody thing of like the villains my villain academia some really fun stuff that they could have done but instead it felt like very standard and obviously the next stuff from the manga is what they're kind of hinting at where you see like shinzo and shit like that but it just felt very plain jane and there's so many things that they could get you excited for for the upcoming season and maybe as we approach and get closer they'll have a bigger trailer and show a lot more and whatnot but uh as it stands right now what they showed it just felt very like Mm, subpar considering the fact that we know that the the content itself when we get there is not going to be subpar like you could argue maybe the first handful of episodes aren't going to be the most exciting in the world they're going to be some build-up stuff but they're not going to be like trash or anything like that either but there's just a huge chunk that all of us are excited about my villain academia that was not present in this trailer so that's why i think some people are a little bit disappointed with what they released i think that's also probably pieces from the upcoming first episode so maybe they already have majority of the production of the first episode handled so they're like yo let's take a piece of it make a little trailer and showcase it for you know we're way off april is a long time from now we're only in october so yeah that's probably what what explains it like all the stuff that we're excited about hasn't been animated yet either way i can't freaking wait for season five of my hero like that little trailer alone got me even more excited than i've been already because the manga it's been amazing and i know that this upcoming season is going to be fire too so next up viz media released a trailer for the upcoming naruto blu-rays now screenshots don't do it justice just keeping it honest with you guys like i've seen screenshots and I, i'll show you some here but it doesn't do it justice in terms of like one of the things i love about older anime like you got to think naruto now it was released in what 99 the anime it's 
it's old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's over 20 years old at this particular point. So one of the things I've really appreciated over time is when they go back and do these frame by frame restorations and remasters of older anime and bring it to Blu-ray. It has this really interesting look. It looks real clean, but still you could see that it's like an older picture and shit like that. And from what I've seen in the small trailer of episode one and the remaster that they did, it gives me vibes of like the remaster that was done for Blu-ray for Yu Yu Hakusho show where they really sat down and took time to make it look nice like again screenshots don't do it justice seeing it in motion is what's going to give you an idea and this is not an ad Viz media is not paying me a dime or anything like that i just gotta be honest with you guys that it looks really freaking good and hopefully they get to shippuden with blu-rays but i'm probably gonna get rid of my dvds of naruto and get these because this looks really clean i just wish they were putting more episodes i think it's going to be like 20 something episodes in a set i wish it was 50 and i would have paid whatever price they as long as it's you know not too crazy for a blu-ray set because it's like yeah naruto's older but still the picture looks great i can't freaking wait to get my hands on these blu-ray sets i am definitely picking them up because at the very least it's going to give for a very fun experience watching it with an updated picture and this remaster looks really really good next up so like i said in the intro of this video there's been a lot of rumors going back and forth uh there was the, the press release uh, from shonen jump magazine of the voice actor for asta talking about the fourth year of black clover well funimation just released something where they said on their twitter black clover season four is coming soon to funimation what's your favorite moment in the series so far and a lot of people are taking that as well if it's the fourth season they're probably concluding that every year is a season again there's been three years this would make the fourth year moving forward which it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be 50 episodes the way they've been ordering episodes have been 50 52 uh, per season or whatever so it could very well be again more confirmation that we're going to get and i mean where we're at right now like i i gotta keep on saying it they would be slapping the living shit out of every fan in the face if we don't get this final arc or well the latest arc i don't want to say final uh that's going on in the manga right now if we don't get that shit animated after they keep on hinting at it with every filler episode we've gotten recently oh man people are gonna be pissed and talk shit for an endless time to studio periop because yeah this shit is good and you're hinting at it in the anime right now like hey it's coming and if you don't come you're gonna blue ball us fam and either way it's just good that it's everything is looking and the official side of things anyway is looking really positive for the future of the black clover anime again we just got the voice actor of asta saying we're celebrating year four funimation announcing season four everything is looking good so hopefully it stays that way hopefully with the upcoming shonen jump festa announcements maybe we get something great on top of that like maybe an anime film or something like that i really hope we get an anime film like perry out what the fuck you've been doing lately come on give us a film damn it although i know a lot of people say hey if they do a film that's going to really make the anime tv series and the boruto series suffer because then they're gonna have to split crew but we ain't get a film period for black clover yet likewise with boruto besides the one that came before the actual anime Perry out. pay people come on come on come on okay so the rankings for the latest volume releases from shonen jump have shown up have been released and based on what we got so far is showcasing of course demon slayer number one the last promised neverland volume coming in at number two jujutsu kaisen number three i don't think there's a new chainsaw man volume yet so that's probably why it's not on here but burn the witch the volume that encompasses i want to say the four chapters that were released actually came out and it is number four and black clover is number five so it's in between Jujutsu Kaisen and Black Clover which I'm estimating roughly about a hundred thousand sales for Burn the Witch which is really really exciting and really incentivizing for Shueisha and Shonen Jump to put money behind Kubo's next you know Burn the Witch part two like if Burn the Witch one is doing that which don't get me wrong you gotta take into account there is a lot of marketing like they gave you know four chapters and then bam you got three anime episodes immediately so th there was a lot of push behind that but I think a hundred sales for a volume of a brand new series technically it's great it's great and i'm really excited and happy that that burn the witch is doing that but you know black clover is number five ah <sighs> black clover i wish you were more successful you deserve it i fucking love black clover it's such a shame and uh and the next one the updated one uh the rankings are damn near the same i do got to point out that black clover is uh recently kicking we never learns ass because we never learn i remember was like neck and neck with black clover for a while but maybe now that we're more and more into some of the dark triad stuff the sales are going up again we'll get the full 
full detailed sales probably in the next few days and i'll report on that but yeah at the very least the top five are some really dope shit demon slayer promise neverland jujutsu burn the witch and black clover hype shit also quickly to note chainsaw man along with a few other volumes but in particular i want to talk about chainsaw man got reprints for all of the first eight volumes of the manga which is an incredible thing that means that they're selling very very well for them to do reprints again i'm hoping by the end of this year with the jump festa announcement that we probably get the anime because don't get me wrong jujutsu kaisen is huge and everything i just feel like chainsaw man is going to be another level of success and maybe i'll be wrong if i'm wrong i'm wrong but i don't think i'm going to be wrong i think chainsaw man is going to be humongous for shonen jump appealing to several different demographics as long as they do it right and lastly so some oricon sales were released prematurely it doesn't include all the months like it doesn't go november of 2019 to november of 2020 let's read this real quick oricon's top 20 most sold series from december 30th 2019 to august 30th 2020 so that's not nowhere near a full year these are not oricon's yearly numbers which will come out later in november and have completely different time frames so again it's not quite a full-on year or anything like that but if you take a look at these it is very very telling of what the scene is like because number one with 53.7 million copies so far from those months is demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba but then coming in at number two with 5.6 million is kingdom number three haikyuu with 5.2 million number four i have no idea what the fuck this series is go tobon no hanayome with 4.7 million number five the promised neverland with 4.46 million and then number six one piece with 4.45 million which i think once we get all the volumes that were released uh in the next few months that aren't included in here one piece will probably shoot up within the top three but wow to see like like, I know One Piece, there's been several, several breaks, so it hasn't had as many volumes as it normally does uh, released and shit like that, but it's kind of saddening to me to see One Piece, like, not in the top. And again, it's been for, like, a bajillion years, so hey, if it's about that time, the quote-unquote fall-off to happen, then so be it. But wow, and then just seeing Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer is like fucking God at the top, 53 million looking down on everybody like, oh, you peasants is trying to climb up here, which is similar in, in a way, just on a larger scale of like what One Piece did back in 2011. But this is crazy. I am so excited and my hero is right under One Piece. I'm excited for November to see what the full on year to year sales is for the manga and where they rank. But as it stands right now, Demon Slayer at the tippy top and One Piece, again, maybe it's less volume with all the breaks and shit like that which is understandable but one piece um it's it's not really killing the competition like it once did don't kill the messenger though it's not my fault it's not i'm reporting it hello but i'm curious what you guys think about the news released today uh how do you feel about that my hero academia season 5 trailer do you think it was mid it, it didn't like you know showcase what the upcoming season truly is going to encompass again it's very early we're in october we still got november december january february march like o almost half a freaking year until the damn season starts give it time also the naruto blu-rays that are getting ready to be released what do you think about that trailer do you think it's worth your money do you think they did a good job with the remaster based on that first episode to be honest with you it's giving me vibes of the remaster that was done to the yu yu Hakusho blu-rays and i love that that remaster of that old picture but cleaning it up I'm, I'm looking forward to it your thoughts on funimation revealing year four of black clover's anime is underway thoughts on chainsaw man getting a reprint for the eight volumes your thoughts on oricon's release of those sales thus far and where demon slayer is at and uh one piece and of course how did you feel about burn the witch doing that well with its one volume like yeah it's crazy but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links are in the description below i'm for never world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life Bye. have an awesome day Peace in, and you guys just watched another episode of Forever News. Have an awesome day. It's not like